Oh, fuck. Well, I don't know where that went. It's okay, the cat'll find it and go all over the place. What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're gonna be doing another energy drink tasting. Uh, this is basically where I take a bunch of energy drinks and we taste them and we review them in the form of a wine tasting. Uh, and if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I did a video just like this probably about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago. I'm not even sure at this point, maybe less, who knows. Um, and this time we're gonna be doing the diet versions of all the energy drinks that I did in the first video. Uh, we're gonna Kind of, kind of be comparing them to each other and kind of talking about their flavors and what they smell like and the feeling that I get when I drink them. Uh, so we're going to be talking about five different drinks plus a little bonus member at the end. Uh, and we're going to be talking about A, the uh, sugar-free Red Bull. I know there's one that's like uh, zero calorie. It's, it's, like, it's like the gray instead of the light blue. Uh, but this is the one that I saw at the store. Then we're going to be talking about the diet um, monster energy or the low carb, I'm sorry. Uh, then we're also going to be talking about the zero sugar zero carb uh, rock star so comes in the white can uh, and then in the other video I did uh, I did Nas I showed you guys you know it's the blue and orange can uh, couldn't find a diet version of that and I also couldn't find a diet version of amp so I was like fuck it I'm just gonna do regular amp um, shout out to you guys for not being health conscious and uh, you know making a low calorie version you're really just forcing people to get fatter which is cool so obviously you're missing out on that demographic where people who want to lose weight aren't gonna drink your stuff but it's fine. On top of that, we're also going to be talking about some uh, lemonade, which is some G Fuel. Uh, and then we have some energy mints here. And we're going to be comparing how the mints taste and feel with uh, compared to all this other shit because these have like no calories in, in these and they'd be uh, a good, you know, replacement for something like this if they taste good. So let's talk about them, right? So let's just jump right into the Red Bull. Let's crack this bitch open. Oh yeah, reminds me of college. Okay, so the first notes that I'm getting here, let me let me pour it into the uh, the wide mouthed uh, cup here. There we go. Hell yeah, that looks like your cheapest beer. So here we are. Uh, it's again just like the first video. It's a very uh, it's a very piss yellow color. Looks more like champagne in this glass though, so that's nice. Um, that it's it reminds me of champagne. And yeah, definitely when you put your face right in there, it smells like, you know when you come home from like a long day of work, or maybe you were, you were on campus, you are at school all day, you come home, you first open up the door to your apartment or to, to your house, and you're just like, oh wow, the cat definitely puked somewhere in the house. Like you can smell it. As soon as you walk in, uh, that's kind of the first note that I was getting when I when I cracked the can open and, and then, you know, snipped it. Uh, but now it's definitely that very light, like bubblegum taurine, like, kick you in the teeth smell and it's it seems a little bit watered down maybe that's because this is the sugar-free version I'm not sure or maybe because it's just less potent without the sugar in there I don't know but uh, we're gonna just take a sip of this and see what it tastes like hmm so it reminds me of working um, jobs with no energy that reminds me of studying for tests that I didn't do well on yeah that's really that's really a, a, a familiar and nostalgic uh, smell and flavor. I'm just really, I'm really bummed about that aftertaste. Like I, every time I feel that, I'm just like, wow, this fucking sucks, dude. This really tastes like shit. I really don't like how, like right after I swallow it, my mouth just like, it feels like there's a bunch of spiders that creep in uh, and like cover my tongue and my mouth and just make me taste like this poisonous, like ugh, gross, disgusting stuff. Um, but anyway, it's it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. This is probably the one that I drink the most uh, Out of all these energy drinks here just because I hate myself and this is how I kind of get through like my day Ooh. Down the hatch. Okay, the next one is gonna be the uh, low carb monster Now this actually has 25 calories per can So if you are really on a diet, you might want to fucking look out for this guy here because you're gonna I'm gonna be drinking a lot of carbs and shit on, on this guy. So let's pop this open, see what it tastes like, see what it smells like, get get the vibe in here. Ooh, I regret it. <laughs> I already regret it. A lot harder to crack this can open. That's probably God telling me something. 
It's kind of like the same smell as the regular monster, but maybe like a little bit of like rotten cinnamon in there. Kind of the vibe I'm getting, but I'm also kind of smelling like the gunk on the can. Like this can probably sat in a truck for a long time and it, like the can itself smells like shit. So let's pour it right into this, uh, this fancy glass here. Wait, let me get the rest of the, the Red Bull. Oh, beautiful. Wow, it sounds and looks like this. Okay, so it's a little bit darker than the Red Bull, I think. A little bit. Still like your cheapest beer type of thing. It's kind of got like a little bit of a caramel like tint to it compared to the Red Bull. I mean, they're very similar, but this one's just a little bit more golden. Oh, wow. That smells like, hey, you forgot about that paper that you have due later today and you have to write 10 pages uh, before noon. It tastes like, it tastes like wherever this came from, like the factory, they probably have a rat problem. Um, they probably just like really are trying to get that under control and it's not quite there yet. Um, and it, it really is reflected in like the, the taste and smell of the energy drink. Again, I love Monster, it's fantastic. And, and there's a little bit of that bubblegum taste too. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe, I think that's the taurine, I'm not really sure. Um, but it really is just kind of overwhelming, honestly. It's it's like it's it, they're forcing you to taste this and it's not that great. I don't know if you guys ever played like World of Warcraft, but like if you stabbed a demon hunter, uh, and he was just bleeding out. I feel like that's what this would taste like. Uh, just like, it's just full of muscle and like death. And uh, it's just a lot. And, and, but you know, at the same time, you get that feeling like, hey, it's low carb, low sugar, low calorie. Like I'm obviously this is healthy for me. When in reality, it's probably just filled with carcinogens and rat poison. Um, but you know, it's not bad. Again, this is probably the one that I drink the second most. I probably drink this every single week at least one time. Um, because again, I fucking hate myself. So. Yeah, I'm already regretting this video. Okay. You know, I'm surprised that Rockstar's still around. When I made the first video, I was thinking, damn, I should make that diet video soon after because Rockstar might go under. Uh, but they're still here, still kicking. That's surprising. I don't know anyone who drinks Monster or Rockstar or whatever. I'm always surprised when I say that. Everyone's like, I drink Rockstar. I'm like, shut the fuck up. No, you don't. Uh, yeah. Again, the Lord is telling me that this is a terrible plan. Oh, ho, ho, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I got like a really strong rubbing alcohol smell and I don't know. Oh no, that's definitely the drink. Oh, I thought like, oh, maybe there's something on the can, but no, that's the drink. Let's pour this bitch in there. Oh yeah, we got a green tint to this motherfucker. Wow, really fizzy. Okay, that tastes like, that literally tastes like bubblegum alcohol. Like, I'm, I mean, smell, I'm sorry. It's, it smells like that. Wow, this looks like optic blood. Like, holy shit, dude. This really smells bad. I'm not even joking anymore. Like, the other two, I was trying to make it, like, kind of funny. This legitimately smells like shit. I don't even want to drink this. I don't understand who would who would do this to themselves. Designed for those who lead active lifestyles, from athletes to rock stars. I don't know. I don't think so. I really doubt it, pal. I really doubt it. Uh, but this one is zero calories, so cheers. And you get what you fucking pay for. I really think if you, like... If you wanted to clean your floors with bubble gum, that's what this would that's what this would be. Like like I I feel like I could really disinfect my bathroom floor just by pouring a bunch of this shit on there uh, and scrubbing it with a mop and I think there's probably enough like rubbing alcohol in here for I don't even have to dry it it just evaporates because it's got all that rubbing alcohol. So it's like when you go to the dentist and you get like the bubble gum flavored lollipop it's not actually bubblegum, it's just bubblegum flavored, so right off the bat, it's not real, right? It's not actual bubblegum, it's trying, it's pretending to be bubblegum, but it's also sat in that basket behind the doctor's, uh, like, the reception counter for, like, three months, because no one likes the bubblegum flavor, and it just tastes like shit because it's old. That's this in liquid form, plus some sort of, like, really, really disgusting rubbing alcohol, so let's just give it a taste. I'm really procrastinating. Like I said, this really smells bad. Oh, oh, God. I feel it like right here, like right here. It just went right to my fucking prefrontal cortex. It smells like, like some sort of dollar store Febreze trying to smell like a spring day. Uh, but you know, like it was just, it just came from some sort of like fragrance factory in the middle of China. Uh, and it just smells like complete shit, dude. I can't handle this. It like attacks the, like, the sides of my tongue. 
it just like gets in there and it's like taste me and i'm just like no fuck you i don't want to taste that anymore so we're done with that um i wish there was somewhere where i could pour this uh I'm never buying that again. That was legitimately fucking gross. All right, let's pop open the amp. Now, let me just say real quick, I admit when I was younger and I first had amp, I thought, hey, I was a cool kid because I was in middle school and I drank amp. But also, I thought it was just like a rebranding or like a, a marketing ploy for Mountain Dew or like whatever to just be like, hey, like we just pumped Mountain Dew filled with caffeine and here it is, we'll call it out. That's what I thought, and I don't actually think that Mountain Dew makes this, honestly, uh, which is interesting. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. There's 220 calories in this bitch. There's 220 calories. Um, you could eat a decent amount of a chocolate bar instead of this, and I highly recommend that instead. So let's pop this bitch open. Ooh, that smells good. That actually smells good. I'll give them that. Uh, it kind of smells like citrus <sighs> mixed with like a pine, like mulch smell that you, you would smell if you just like went to an amusement park on opening weekend and they just redid all the mulch. Uh, it's that plus like citrus. So it smells good. It's not something you should consume, obviously. I mean, we're talking about energy drinks, so it doesn't smell like something you should put in your mouth, but it smells good. Like if, you, if, it, if my room smelled like this, I wouldn't be that mad, I'm not gonna lie. So let's pour it in here. But yeah, there it is, boys. So that's the most green that we've seen so far. It looks a little cloudy too, which is alarming. Wow, dude, look at the color on that shit. My God, I'm not even, I didn't even edit this. Like that legitimately looks fucking crazy. This cannot be good for you. This cannot be good. Whew. Yeah, okay, so I'm definitely getting some sort of it's reminiscent of Mountain Dew, but like with an extra like like I just I don't know man It's like it's like a fucking it's like Bigfoot took a piss in a vat full of Mountain Dew And that's what this is. It's just Mountain Dew plus like testosterone. You know what I mean? Like like god damn It's also something I would like I would pour this in my cat's litter box if it smelled really bad I feel like if you poured this in the litter box It would really neutralize that smell like really really well And I think maybe that would be a great like a fantastic second use for this Especially because you shouldn't drink the whole can again at 220 calories. That's a lot Probably just try it and then realize it sucks and pour it in your cat box. But anyway, let's take a sip see what it tastes like I'm really getting a, a pine sole taste. I don't know if you're familiar with pine sole, uh, but it's a, it's a cleaning product that you can use to clean. I believe it's good on like wood surfaces, but don't really quote me on that. Last fucking thing I need is, oh, New York, <laughs> in the comments, some kid, oh, New York, I cleaned my mom's hardwood floor with pine sole and amp, and now it's fucked up. <laughs> I'm suing you. Fuck that. So yeah, really getting a sense of like cleaning product. Now, I think the Rockstar, if you pour that on like your, on your bathroom floor, it would just disinfect the whole thing immediately. Uh, this is is more of like a gentle clean but it'll really get rid of all the bacteria that's kind of what I'm feeling here it also kind of reminds me of like if you licked like the muffler of a really nice motorcycle right after it had just gone like a hundred miles I don't know kind of vibe I'm getting here let's try it again it kind of feels like they took lemons limes maybe a little bit of grapefruit something like that uh, and instead of washing the pesticides off they just added more and then crushed them all up and and put them in the in the Bigfoot piss vat filled with Mountain Dew. That's kind of the, the feeling that I'm getting here when I'm tasting this. Really aggressive. I also think I have a couple of cavities now that I tried that. So I think it, I think it immediately eats through the enamel of your teeth and just starts to give you cavities right off the bat. All right, so next we're gonna do the G Fuel, which means I have to go to the kitchen so I can mix this with some motherfucking water. Not gonna lie, when I opened the door to come back into my room, it just smelled fucking nauseating in here. Uh, and that's because I have all these drinks open at the same time. So this is uh, the Lemonade G Fuel. Now, if you guys can see, this is probably about a third of a scoop uh, mixed with some water. Um, and you really gotta mix it up because it gets really clumpy and disgusting uh, unless you do that. And I recommend a shaker cup, but clearly we can't do, do that with one of these. So we're just gonna be classy bitches and kind of just chew on the clumps if we get any. So let's just, let's just put this in our mouth. It tastes like, like it's, or it smells like, should I say, like sugar and lemonade. Uh, but if you look on the bot or on the thing here, it's 25 calories. I don't think there's much sugar in here or any, I don't know. No, it's sugar free. It even says it right there on the side. Sugar free boys. So this probably is good for us. So now one thing I'll say uh, is you can actually control with G Fuel 
how strong of a flavor you get because I think I added a little bit too much water here and I'm not really tasting it too much but that's probably for the better uh, because if you don't add enough it's very grainy and, and like you feel it in your mouth and it coats your tongue and you get those clumps if you don't mix it right. Um, but otherwise, this is honestly not too bad, and, and I feel kind of bad putting it in this video because there's nothing that I can really say that's too bad about this other than the fact that when it coats your throat, uh, you feel like you just walk through like maybe a really dirty mechanics like office building, uh, and you're kind of just inhaling a bunch of dirt, and it just kind of coats your throat and your and everything. If you drink, if you mix G Fuel with not enough water and chug the whole thing, it's just an uncomfortable feeling the entire, like, the rest of the hour. And you keep drinking water thinking it's going to help, but it really doesn't. Um, it kind of sucks, and the feeling is not desirable. Yeah, I mean, even now, adding too much water to this, I feel it's just sticking to my tongue, and it won't go away. And that's really kind of invasive, uh, and I don't like that about G Fuel. Um, it's kind of just like, you know, it's like a parasite. Um, it kind of just leeches onto, like, your tongue and maybe, like, the wallet of your favorite YouTuber. And it kind of just, like, stays there and doesn't go away. And, and I'm really starting to get, it almost gives you, like, a sore throat where it's just, like, there's a bunch of shit back there, and you're really not about it. Okay, and the last thing we're going to be talking about today is Viter Energy. Now, these these guys actually over at Viter Energy, they actually sent me these uh, for free. You can go to GoViter.com and you can check them out. They didn't pay me to say anything about this. They just were like, hey, we saw your videos. You want us to try some of these? And I was like, heck yeah, why not? So I tried one off camera, but I wanted to really, like, that was like a week ago when I got this in the mail. Uh, and I really wanted to get, like, my reaction on here for what it tastes like. Again, uh, they're zero calories. Now, I think they market these as like mints, but it actually doesn't say mint anywhere on here. Uh, if you look closely, it says dietary supplement on the front there. So these are kind of like caffeine energy pills. Um, but they taste good. So it's kind of like a like a chewable caffeine pill really is what it is um, And also it has the nutri the supplement fact in the back and I think about One third of a cup of coffee if you went to Starbucks So there's 40 milligrams of caffeine in one of these mints and there's about usually like 120 milligrams of caffeine in like a cup of coffee I think from Starbucks. This is what they look like. It's kind of just like a it's kind of like just a little tablet thing here They're a little bit orange in color, which is weird because they're wind green on here and it's the blue on the tin but they're orange in person and they smell they smell good they smell fine that's what I'll say it's not the best smell in the world but it it's winter green clearly let's try one of those oh fuck well I don't know where that went it's okay the cat will find it and go all over the place get another one so it's in my mouth I regret doing these last because I already put all this shit in my mouth so far. As soon as you start sucking on it, that's what she said, the texture gets really, really rough. The, the flavor's not bad though, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I mean, when you, when you have something like this and it's a third of a cup of coffee in that small of a size and it's got no calories or anything, it only has sugar alcohol instead of sugar and that I can kind of tell. So there's perks to this, but there's also cons. I think the biggest con is it's trying really hard to be wintergreen and it's and it's almost there but it's kind of a little bit it's not like like it's a very dense tablet clearly it's very dense so you're tasting a lot of the caffeine and like the vitamin b12 vitamin b6 like it's almost like a vitamin pill so it's kind of a mint kind of not i don't know if this flavor is gonna last i don't know if chewing it makes it better or worse i mean when you chew it you get a full burst of that flavor like I said, part of it is like is like wintergreen, and then part of it is like all the vitamins and caffeine that you're tasting. So it's like it's not a bad flavor, but it's not it doesn't taste like a mint if that makes sense. It, it's not like it's not like popping a Tic Tac or, or something like that. Like there's obviously other stuff there, and you're tasting that as well. The pros of this are that for zero calories, you can have a cup of coffee's size energy or whatever. There's also 20 servings in this little container so that's about what six cups of six cups of coffee and you can fit this like in your front pocket if i had one you could fit this you know anywhere you could leave it in your car stuff like that so you know for i think these are 4.99 i don't know like i said this was sent to me for free um but for if this is five dollars for basically six maybe more cups of coffee for five bucks in terms of energy right like if you enjoy your cup of coffee obviously it's not a replacement but if you just need that energy for five dollars and you're getting more than six cups of coffee's worth of energy in one little tin that you can fit in your pocket or your car 
that's a huge plus for some people. I know a lot of people hate the taste of energy drinks. They don't drink coffee, stuff like that. This might be a huge, huge deal for them. Could be a big replacement. Again, as far as taste, I'm not a huge fan of how it tastes. Um, they did a good job considering how much is in here as far as like I said vitamins and caffeine and stuff like that But it doesn't taste exactly like a mint and again at the end of the day It doesn't actually say mint on here anywhere. It's sugar-free boosts energy and freshens breath Dietary supplement nowhere on here does it say it's a mint So this says actually two of these is one cup of coffee. It really depends on the size of the coffee I guess so who knows? Maybe this is maybe this is 10 cups of coffee. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, that's another another little energy supplement I wanted to show you guys today in the video. Kind of throw it in there at the end and just say, hey, this is a cool thing that this company sent me. If you guys want to check it out, you can definitely find it on the internet. It is super, super, super cool to kind of have something like this. Um, I don't know if I would pay for it myself um, because I enjoy coffee, I enjoy energy drinks, um, but I can definitely see that there are people that this would help. Um, and if you want, you can check out the link in the description or something like that if you want to check these out. I didn't get paid to say anything like this. Again, if I was getting paid, I would be like, these are amazing, this is the best thing ever, you need to go and buy them with code OmniArc. Like, no, they just sent me this and I'm just being honest with you guys the taste is fine I'd say the taste is maybe a 6.5 out of 10 but the convenience of it for some people is probably really 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 awesome so that's about it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and what I will say is in the last time I did something like this I actually took all the energy drinks and combined them into one and added coffee if you guys want me to do that again with all these diet energy drinks pour them in a cup add some motherfucking G fuel crush up a few tablets throw that shit in there pour in some coffee we'll make it absolutely insane drop a like on the video and share it with your friends let people know uh and and if i get enough likes and enough attention on this video then maybe i'll do it again because last time i legitimately almost threw up seriously if you haven't seen that video go check it out and that's a bit it guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i'll talk to you guys again soon peace also, I want to make it known that I fucking love Monster and Red Bull, and it's like a dream of mine to be sponsored by them. So don't take this too seriously. Uh, if you guys work at Monster or Red Bull, shit, man, hit me up. God damn it, I love your like. The amount of money I spend on your products is insane. So yeah, I don't actually hate you guys. Um, it's just for comedic whatever. But my stomach does hurt right now because I just drank all this shit. So anyway, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. See you guys later.